Grappling with a spike of migrant crossings at the southern border, Border Patrol agents in El Paso say they're already at capacity as they brace for the end of a Trump-era immigration policy. ABC's Elizabeth Schultz has more from Washington. At the U.S.-Mexico border, a surge of migrant crossings is straining state resources. It's people are going to fall through the cracks. Young kids are going to be out there sleeping on the sidewalks. Shelters at the southern border overwhelmed as they process hundreds of asylum seekers every day. It's an immigration system that has to be reformed, and yet there's no discussion of it in Congress because the Republican Congress wants nothing to do with it. In El Paso, unauthorized border crossings are now averaging more than 2,400 daily encounters. Adults carrying children through the Rio Grande, hundreds lining up as they prepare to cross. These folks are here, they're applying for, for asylum protections, and uh, that is a legal way to immigrate to this country. State and local officials warn the surge could swell as a Trump-era border policy is set to end this month. The policy, known as Title 42, allows for the immediate expulsion of migrants without allowing them to apply for asylum. We are taking steps to be able to manage the expiration of Title 42 and to put in place a process that will be orderly and humane. Olnedis says she came from Venezuela and is seeking safety in the U.S. for her daughter, waiting to cross until next week. She doesn't know what she'll do if they don't let her back in. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas is expected to visit El Paso today to review operations and to meet with local organizations and officials. Elizabeth Schulze, ABC News, Washington.